Hey guys, today's video is going to be showing you uh, my steps of how I bleach my hair. Uh, I have my hair cut short back and sides, so obviously the dilemma, as you can imagine, is that when I colour my hair for the first few weeks, I really like it, and then as soon as I go back in for a trim, all the colour on the side goes off because we go so short on the sides. So then I've got the dilemma whether I keep the sort of two-tone look, or do you let it grow out, or... You know, there's loads of options with it. The best would be to let it grow out and then colour it all over fresh. However, I don't want to wait. So it's harder with guys sometimes to do roots and things. It's not something that I'm really good at doing, at just focusing on the root bit or just the side. And the past three times I've bleached my hair, I've begun, I've tried to sort of be begin doing that and then it just ended up everywhere. So, and my hair still feels all right. I'm going to break it down into steps. I'm going to show less the actual techniques and application and just speak you through the steps and how I do it. And the main benefit of this and something a bit different is that it's the, oh my gosh, I can't speak. I'm so sorry. I'm really, really hungover and I am not with it at all today. So I apologize for that. Um, okay, so everything is gonna be into steps and the main thing that has helped me bleach my hair so much and keep it in a, a, you know, a pretty good condition is using coconut oil. So I will just use this on washed hair with no conditioners on whatsoever. I just run it through the hair, leave it in for you know a few hours or something or the whole day if you've got the luxury of time. And then you will go on top of that with a bleach. So ideally it really is best to leave on for a little longer to really get your scalp oily and greasy. So then it will be a bit more protected when it comes to the bleach. Uh, this is probably one of the most beneficial tips that I could ever say for anyone that is bleaching the hair. I don't know if you can use that with hair colour, so if you can, let me know. Um, it's always scary the first time doing it because you think it's going to interfere with something, but no, it's really, really cool. So I'm going to go put some on now, let it settle for a few hours, enjoy the sun a little bit outside. Yeah, it's not the day to be wearing a onesie, sadly, but it's the best thing when you're colouring your hair because then you can just whip it off and go rinse. I will be back once my hair is sufficiently nice and greasy and then we will talk through the bleaching process. Now is the time for the bleach. I've left the coconut oil in my hair for around three hours now and I'm just going to get ready and mix the bleach together. What I'm going to be using and what I've only ever used really now is this. I will use the whole swatched off rain and I'm going to be colouring my hair with the same company as well. So this bleach is really, really strong, which is why I can get away with something with only 20 vol. I could probably get away with a 10 vol, which would be the 3%, but I'm not gonna risk it because I really need to make sure that it lifts to a high level so it's ready for ash. Okay, so I've left it in now for 35 40 minutes. It's got like a really yellowy, like a light color. It's hard, kind of harder to tell with the blue bleach because it kind of uh, tones it as well. So the first time I definitely rinsed it too quickly. So I would definitely say um, up to 45 minutes, leave it in. Uh, I could probably rinse it out now and be fine. So I'm just going to keep an eye on it and then rinse it out, warmish, tepid water, and then shampoo it but not conditioned. So it will then be ready for the colour which I'm going to follow up with soon. It will end up like this. Really, 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 really bright. Obviously, you don't leave it like this. I'm going to let it dry. I'm not going to blow dry. I'm going to let it dry naturally just to give it a bit of rest. And 
Then I'm going to slap on the colour. These two options, which are the Swatchkoff Agora range, 911, which is, I've used 91 before, that's the one that I used in the last time I coloured it. So really nice and ash. I'm excited to see what the, the two different types of ash, so not just dash one, but dash two. Um, so we will see how this looks. Hey guys, it's two days since I've coloured my hair. The reason being why I didn't show yesterday is just because I A, had a lot of time and B, what I thought would have happened did and it's totally fine so don't be worried if this does happen when you colour your hair over pre-lightened hair. It's always going to take more on the end so what you end up with is a little bit more ashiness which can differentiate a little bit from what you've done in the roots. It's just, it's more porous and it's always gonna take quicker to it, but not to worry, as soon as I showered it off and shampooed it again, it all balanced out. And what I did yesterday to really, really help keep it this ashy is already start using Malarouche Directions in silver. And it's, it's only because when I first get it done, I, I want it probably as ash as possible and I want to ensure that it's in there. It is already with the hair colour so I don't need to worry but it's good already to keep it going because um, I've definitely done it before and didn't keep up on it and yeah you can lose the sort of ash vibe in your hair. But anyway I wanted to show you guys now I'm really really happy with the result it's nice and ashy it's got like a beige pearly tone which is thanks to the bit of auburn which is in the 1262 that I mixed 50-50 with it and yeah um, it was nerve wracking because I didn't know what kind of colour it was going to end up in but yeah what do you guys think? I'm really, really happy with it. So it's going to be interesting to see how it fades over the next few days and weeks. And yeah, I've got loads of the uh, blue toner. So I think I'm pretty set to keep this sort of ashy look. But yeah, anyway, thank you for watching and I will see you guys soon. Bye bye.